They say you are what you eat, so I don't eat chicken feet. But I love me some of Grandma's pickled beets. Well, cut it up, put it in the pan, throw it over your shoulder and see where it lands right here in the farmer's kitchen. Baiters, taters, beans and corn, the cows in the barn and the sheep's been shorn, kids in the barnyard chasing Grandpa's chicken. Chicken, chicken. Spices, slices, cuts and dices, gonna slash your grocery prices right here in the farmer's kitchen. Help you grow your garden good with recipes to suit your mood. Try some grub you've never tried before. Smash it with a wooden mallet, gonna educate your palate. Right here in Farmer's Kitchen, in Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. We're gonna cook something good now. Funding for Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen is brought to you by... L81 Bottling Company. Taste, love, and share the tradition. Harvest Energy Solutions. Harvest cabins when you absolutely have to get away. Kentucky Sheep and Goat Development Office. Try something different tonight. Salt Rocks, the flavor of life. Good Foods Co-op, Marksbury Farm Market, Weisenberger Mill, your village shop. Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. We got the whole uh, gang with us. Nikki's without her neck brace. You can't walk careful. too much down here. You've been very careful. And I'm not going over the fence. And if wherever you go, you got to hold my arm. That's right. All right, not going. Is the fence on, by the way? No. <laughs> You know what? We got all the critters here. You know, this is our nightly ritual. We're going to show you how clean alpacas get really dirty. Uh huh. There's this weird thing that they like to do. We're going to go out into the field, and I'm going to. You're going to go. I'm, I'm gonna, staying you, here. You can't go. Watch yourself. I'm going to risk my life <laughs> and take the, the feed out to the critters. We give them a corn snack every now and then, which they really like. They think it's gold. But you know what? Here recently, we went to the Bluebird. We talked about the dinner train. The dinner train is an idea we had about stopping by different restaurants, and we'll always come back to Bluebird because we right. actually absolutely love, love Chef Bill. But tonight we're going to do that. We're going to the Bluebird, and then we're going to cook for some folks that are down from that part of the area. But you know what? That's a thing that we need to do again. So get on our Facebook page. Well, let's tell them about our Facebook page early. Get on there and like it, and then give us your idea about some cool places we might stop. We want that place to serve local food if they can, as best they can. We like that idea, yeah. and there's plenty of places out there. We ate someplace in Lexington the other night. That was delicious. The Sage Rabbit. Just opened. Oh my, delicious. That needs to be on your, that, that was hey, good. That maybe might, we should go there. Maybe we should go there. Let's get some ideas from you, but now I've got my boots on. Okay. Are you scared for me? I'll be, pretty, I'll be right here to grab you if something bad you happens. You won't grab me. We'll come close and I'll pull you back right. over. I want you to see how amusing this is. Oh, they're all doing their own thing right now. Watch this. All right, here we go. Look at guys. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Oh, no, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, I almost lost my life. Did you? It's so much fun. Hi. I'm out of breath from... This one lets me pet him. ...getting attacked by sheep. I wonder if anybody's ever been trampled to death by sheep. Maybe. All right, our next interesting thing for the evening, once we get some of their pellets, is it's hot. It's really hot. And you would think most animals would run from a sprayer. When we turn this on, they'll run to it. Then, here's the part where once they get sufficiently wet, they'll hit their knees. Yep. There they go. <laughs> 
There they go, he's going down. Here's the part where he was clean before and now. I walked up a sweat. It was funny watching you run. You almost got, did they almost get you? I saw you going down. I almost, I almost lost my life. Okay. Man, can you imagine your obituary? Yeah. He went to feed the sheep and was trampled to death by Never came back. the most docile animal on earth. <laughs> that would be bad. So, anyhow, these are taken care of. We'll go see Piggy here in a little while. And I'm going to explain to her if she keeps on eating like she's eating. She's, she loves you too. She's going to gain weight and she's going to get mighty <laughs> well, what tasty. Do you, what do you feed her? What are you feeding her tonight? Cupcakes. Okay, well, what do you expect? White chocolate okay. cupcakes. <laughs> Let's go now and show you what it looked like at the restaurant. Again, we packed the place out, thank goodness. A lot of satisfied people with a meal fit for a king at the Bluebird. Walked inside the restaurant, everybody was there, clapping, happy to be there. Then I started thinking about, you know, Chef Bill used to work for Elvis Presley Enterprises. Right. I started thinking about his meatloaf, which was there, Yummy. the hamburger, which was there. You wanted it all, didn't you? <laughs> I got it all. Fried dinner sandwiches, and you know what? Let me tell you what, all fresh stuff. He's got a garden there, he picks everything out. This was a wonderful night to share with friends and our new family. Right. And we want to set up the next one as soon as possible. Now, the only cost involved to this as anybody is to go to the restaurant and pay for your meal. We pay for our meal. When you come, you'll pay for your meal. That's it. Right. There's no great big secret about what's going on. Okay. Climb on board, we'll be doing more of this. You know what? Spaghetti. Yummy. This time of year, with all the fresh ingredients. And then you think Caesar salad is so complicated to get it right? The dressing seems like it would be. I think, I'm pretty sure we can hook it up. All right, I Let's bet you can, I bet you can. All right, let's go. It's summertime. We got tomatoes. I love tomatoes. And we got Jess and Ange Carell over here. And we're in the Bishop House. That's right. And we're gonna chow today. Cool. <laughs> and we got our maters. We got to do something with them. So you know what? It's too many people think uh, spaghetti sauce comes out of a jar. And there's some that's okay. But you know what? When you go to Italy, you don't get tomato sauce out of a jar. It's tomatoes. It's basil. It's oregano. It's paste and sauce. And we're gonna put mushrooms in it. Spaghetti is the stuff that's it's pasta. That's what right. you put on it is entirely up to you. We're gonna do a really fresh, wonderful spaghetti sauce today. I promise I'd never show anybody this. Is it bad that I'm, no, this is my top secret. Should, oh. should I show yeah. it? Don't tell anybody, right? <laughs> no. Only one person at a time. That's exactly <laughs> <right>. <laughs> this is something that I've worked on for years. I love spaghetti, but I like the, I like the sweet, and I like the, the onion, and I like the garlic. So this is my particular recipe, again, don't tell anybody. But we're gonna crank this out today. But first, you gotta have a Caesar salad. And a lot of people, when they make Caesar salad, if they knew there was anchovies in it, it might freak them out. But there is. Now, we're gonna start that today by making a little Caesar salad. And go ahead and chill that. And we've also got a lamb that they've seen us do on the show. I don't want these guys to try. All right, let's get started here. What we gonna have to have here is two garlic cloves, finely I'm chopped, cut up. which we have. We got a cup of mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have some Worcestershire. We're gonna have some Dijon mustard. We're gonna have a little bit of lemon juice. Let's just go ahead and get that started. The first five ingredients that I wanna to put together are two garlic cloves, minced, a teaspoon of anchovy paste, don't brush your teeth with that, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of Worcester or Worcestershire, however you wanna say it. Take your first five ingredients, whip them together, one cup of Hellman's mayonnaise, half a cup of Parmesan Reggiano, Salt and pepper to taste, and you're good to go. Look at there. Smells Smell like season mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How simple. That's how you Put get it in the fridge, it. let's chill it. All right, we're good. Now we're going to get to the saschetti. The saschetti. Oh, yeah. Where there is no measuring in anything. Now, that's, that's the thing about this. You can add whatever you want, but you can't take it away, so be careful how much you put in it. Let's put, right. this, let's put this in here. 
So we got our dressing chilling for later. That smells good. That smells good. How, what do you think about this? I like that. I didn't know they made that. You're gonna eat some? Put, put some on. Mmm, fishy. <laughs> like a lip gloss or something. That's mm, nice. Mm. <laughs> Sunscreen. <laughs> All right, you can find that just about at any store, and it's usually around where the tuna fish is and things like that. So there's a lot of things you can use anchovies for that you didn't really know that they were in. Now, back to our spaghetti sauce that we're going to make. I like a lot of oregano. Plus, the sweet basil really adds, but the oregano, I have dry oregano too, so I can keep on adding and keep on adding and keep on adding until I get that sweet and the, the salty balance just right. And when it gets right, I'm telling you what, it's awful good. Now, we got our... We're going to take our tomatoes and we're just going to real quickly drop them in boiling water so we can take the skins off and then you're going to dice those. But first of all, let's get our onions and our shallots How going. How you want? You think those glasses are going to help you? Well, so I don't cut my finger off. <laughs> yes. Bless your heart, you're, you always get teared up in this part. Now, Nikki, as you might have noticed, has got her neck brace off. We're not breaking the doctor's rules. He said she can take it off a couple hours a day so she can strengthen her neck muscles because that brace has been holding her. Yeah. neck in Feels one position. Good. So you feel free? I do. And they promise not to push me. Don't push her. <laughs> don't push me. <laughs> no. I don't think they're very pushy people. No, they're not. All right, so I'm going to watch you cut those up. Like I'm going to go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a little bit smaller than that. I'm going to go ahead and get some olive oil started back here, heat it up. And I would say probably about half of that and we're good to go. I'm going to start my onions and shallots together. I'm going to come back and slide them aside once they get nice and translucent. And then I'm going to bring my garlic in. You, don't, you never want to overdo your garlic because it gets it's a bitter flavor, as you know. Just want to slightly get that going. Now, the great thing about one pot cooking is the fact that everything's in there and those tastes stay in there. When, when you forget, all those flavors kind of add up and pile up. Have you ever had, you ever, you make your spaghetti with fresh tomatoes? Yeah. Uh -huh. Nobody does that. We can here. We can here. We can on marinara oh, sauce. Yeah. We make it. That's the only way to go. But man, when it's fresh, fresh like this, oh, right off the marinara. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. the best. All right, those look lovely, Nikki. Let's take those over there. Then add your shallots and onion and stir until translucent. All right, now, like I said, I'm going to push this aside and I'm going to bring this garlic in. What a wonderful job you did on that, Thank man. Thank you. Beautiful. Kelly taught that me almost, that. That almost looks like what Kelly fresh would cut up. Yeah, she taught me. All right, now I'm going to just slightly brown that. Before it gets too done, I'm going to mix it up and all this other stuff. And then I'm going to come back with just a little splash of red wine and let that simmer down while I get everything else ready. Now, while these are cooking down, Nikki's going to chop up, oh, a good handful of fresh oregano and an extra good handful of fresh basil. Now, this is to taste. Just go along as, you, as you're chopping things up. And I went outside and took the lamb off of the hickory and made my little sauce, and what'd you think? A good appetite. What'd you think about lamb? I like Eating it, lamb. I didn't, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big lamb eater, but I like it a lot. <laughs> and once the water is boiling, add your tomatoes until the skins start to come off. I mean, this doesn't take long at all. Drop them into the water for maybe a minute. Uh, take them off the boiling water, cool them in a bowl of cold water. Okay, we have taken our tomatoes out, we've got the skins off, and Nikki is taking the undesirable parts away. I'm going to take our, I'm going to reach in here, right around you here. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my basil and oregano, put a little more wine in here and let that get all comfortable together. Now once she gets these, the middles cut out, she's going to dice those. Now you're talking about fresh diced tomatoes. And we have some sauce here, some paste over here. We've got some mushrooms. You guys like mushrooms, I right? I love, love mushrooms. mushrooms. Hey, we can't go wrong here. No. We're ready. We're ready. Slice and dice. For four people, I'm going to use probably eight large tomatoes to the pot. I'm going to stir them up. I'm going to add one little can of tomato sauce, one can of tomato paste, and I'll keep on as I go along adding a little bit of dried oregano until I get that flavor that I'm looking for. Now, I'm going to add probably a cup of mushrooms. Those are going to cook down. I like those. Those are optional. These little baby Bella mushrooms little bit more red wine and stir. Let that simmer while you start your meat. And I'm going to add a dash of sugar and I'm going to keep adding that sugar until it gets the taste that I want. Now you may not like that much, it's up to you. Now we're using about a pound of Italian sausage as well as a pound of ground lamb. I just happen to like a lot of meat in my sauce. Some people might not put any, that's just me, I'm a carnivore. Now you can break this down like burger or you can leave it in chunks if you want bigger pieces, or you can even make meatballs, depending on what you like. Let your sauce simmer 
I don't know, for a good half hour or so. Now, a lot of people say let it cook all day, but by the time that we've reduced that and got all that, those flavors together, it doesn't take long. Now, drain your meat, add it to the sauce. If you want a little more garlic flavor, this is the time to add your garlic. And this is the time at the very end to add, if you need a little salt, if you need a little more of this, a little more of that at the very end, put a little olive oil in your water, a little salt for your noodles. When your noodles are done to your liking, guess what? You're ready to roll. What do you think? Does that look edible? That looks oh great. my goodness. You know the smells coming up here? I can smell the, the fresh cheese on the fresh Caesar salad oh, yeah, homemade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get you a big old, big old honking. Now how are we supposed to do our spaghetti? Are we twist it like the Italian? That's, do, that's or absolutely up to you. That's what we do. We usually twirl it. Twirl it. This is a great oh. thing to try to do on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. you got a white shirt on too. Mm. <laughs> You're, you're almost getting a little bit like what you had with your lamb. You've got the meat taste, but you've got mm. the wine and the sweet. Mm. And that that's just delicious. me. That's what I do with spaghetti. You can do anything you want. You know, a lot of marinara is just tomatoes, essentially, mm -hmm. with a little basil or something. I like to just put all mm. kinds of flavors in it. They mm. beat and bang up against each I other. like your meat. Sweet mm. and sour. That's great. Let me try your salad, too. Can we try your salad? Delicious. Mmm. So farm fresh. Mm. Very good. Straight from the country. You like it? I like it. Mm -hmm. You outdid yourself, Tim. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you know, for having us. Thank you all for coming out. You know, we, we love doing this. We did this on our Mississippi show. We had some of our friends out. And we, we're going to start doing this more often, having people that we know come in and sit down. And I love something about cooking and then seeing you enjoy it and you enjoy mm -hmm. it and know that you really mm -hmm. liked it. Yeah. I can tell if you didn't because yeah. you probably yeah. have a nerve. <laughs> but I enjoy so much taking what I've learned over the years and sharing that with others. There's something about cooking and sharing. It's delicious. Fantastic. Thank you. It's so Thank good. You. We're available almost all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Help us taste. It's good. All right, now we're going to stick this food in our mouth and chew loudly. I'm Lardo. And I'm Burley. And, and we're, we're the, the Moron, Moron Brothers. Brother. Got a frog in my throat. You know, Tim Farmer was telling me that he got him some chickens and he go raise chickens, sell eggs, make a lot of money. Yeah. And, well, he read in the magazine, farm magazine, where if he feed them silkworms, they'd lay better. Yeah. So uh, I, I seen him there and he, so it been about six months and I seen him up there. I said, Tim, how you chickens done? He said, I've been feeding them silkworms. I said, well, how they doing? He said, well, they're laying good, but all the eggs got pantyholes in them. Do the roof or something. All right, then. Had a hen, wouldn't lay no eggs. Had a hen, wouldn't lay no eggs. Then the rooster came on the farm. Met the hen down by the farm. She laying eggs now, we got eggs now, said Thurston, came on the farm. She laying eggs now, we got eggs now, said Thurston, came on the farm. Had a dog, didn't have no pups, had a dog, didn't have no pups, then the rooster. She's having bird dogs, we got bird dogs, said the rooster, came on the farm. She's having bird dogs, we got bird dogs, said the rooster, came on the farm. Had a cow, didn't give no milk, had a cow, didn't give no milk. Then the rooster came on the farm, caught the cow down by the pond. She give an eggnog, we got eggnog. Then the rooster came on the farm, she give
him in eggnog. We got eggnog. Said the rooster came on far. Had an ain't, didn't have no kids. Uh -oh. Had an ain't, didn't have no kids. And then the rooster came on the farm, caught a rank out behind the barn. Grand fried rooster, grand fried rooster, said the rooster came on the farm. The hand fried rooster, the hand fried rooster, said the rooster came on the farm. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is, you know, we've got great knives. We've got good knives, right. and we've got really crappy knives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know what? I found some inexpensive knives right there in town. We walk, like to walk around each little town. But anyway, we found this little shop, and we found some knives, fairly inexpensive, but you got to watch it, because I have five fingers. You bought a lot of knives. But they're sharp. Yeah. Watch your fingers. I'll be careful. All right, let's check out our little knives we brought. Rada. Rada. Made in the USA. Made in the USA. How about that? Look, we did something earlier here to try this out. You talk about a mater slicer. Look here. Look what a little, look, I'm cutting that paper thin in one piece. Now, obviously, I wouldn't want to eat my tomato like that. I'd want to eat it more like this right here. How about that? Serrated edge. How long have you been carrying these? Probably about a year and a half. I put, brought them in as soon as I opened the shop. I think it was a good idea. I Cheese cutters, so it's got. So they do have a lifetime warranty too. No kidding. No Even got a little sharpener for the mm -hmm. straight edge ones. Yes. Well, you know what? I'm packing some out of here. All right, good. So I'm gonna buy that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and the sharpener. All right. Because anything cuts a mater that good makes me happy. <laughs> what? You want a cupcake? Well, pigs don't get cupcakes. What well, you want a cupcake? That's what I thought. She just inhaling them? This is the, the last critter we got to take care of tonight. And um, she enjoys her cupcakes and her pizza. Whatever else we and have. And her left. snacks. That's the great thing about pigs, they'll eat about anything. Leftovers. Whew, it's hot. Yeah, it is. So at this time, I guess we should explain to people to uh, check out our Facebook page, to like it, and go ahead and start giving us some ideas. We did this way early on, we finally got it going. The next stop on our dinner train, where shall it be? You know what else? What? TenFarmersCountryKitchen.com. What's over there? All kinds of stuff. Recipes, uh -huh. where we're going, you can watch shows, you can find out everything, can't you? I'm telling you what, we have so many people looking online. We thank you so much for checking us out on YouTube. And thank KET for having us aboard. You know what? We're one of their top-ranked shows, thanks to our family. That's right. I would call them viewers, but they're not. You're right, and family. You know, we talked about the fact that when you got hurt, we had so many people. You had letters in the mail. Yeah, I did. That you were little... Presents You were crying. Yeah, I was. I mean, it was so sweet. Uh, we have, again, we have extended family. And that's you. Thank you so much for watching. And you know what? we got all kinds of new stuff coming up. Yeah, we do. But it's that sad time. Oh, it is sad. When we have to talk about good times. Good friends. And good eats. <laughs> To order a cookbook or DVD of the show, please call 502-319-0487 or email timfarmerck at gmail.com. Special thanks to Furniture World Superstore Housewarmings Tater Knob Pottery and Farm. <laughs> Funding for Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen is brought to you by the city of Stanford, Kentucky. Come back home to Stanford. Woods Equipment Company has every tool you need to make working the land as rewarding as hunting it. 
Diamond Gusset Jeans, the original gusset jean. Careful craftsmanship, continual improvement. Diamond Gusset Jeans, born and worn in the USA since 1987. Edward Jones, this is Shirley speaking. How may I help you? Oh, hey Neil, how are you? How was the trip? With nearly seven million investors. It's right here, hold on one second. You'd expect us to have a highly skilled call center. Kevin, Neil Holly's on line one. Okay, great. And we do. It's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. <laughs>